Rise and shine, eagles. I'm Tron with today's day of November 14, 2023, which is known as World's Diabetes Day, which we recognize the health and concerns that are posed by diabetes. Here at GJ, our mission here is to be prompt, polite, and prepared, and our goal is to have every student graduate with the skills necessary to be successful in college or career. Now get ready, eagles, because ENN starts now. Study shows that approximately 643 million people are suffering from diabetes. Now, let's go over to Eddie for giving us a little insight on what diabetes is and how it can affect our bodies in many different ways. Out of 37.3 million people in the world, 1 in 10 have diabetes and 1 in 5 don't even know they have it. Let's go over to Brody to go more in depth on what diabetes is and learn about him. My name is Brody Lyons. Uh, I'm a senior and I have type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is a condition where your pancreas doesn't produce insulin anymore because your cells have attacked it. So you have to take insulin to keep your blood sugar steady. I use a, what's called a continuous pump and it basically is like a little thing in my stomach and it just keeps giving me insulin and it keeps it steady by itself. And whenever I eat, I just put in how many carbs or sugar I'm like eating and it gives me insulin for that. Thank you Brody for letting us take a look into your life and I'm glad that you all know now what diabetes is and know a little bit more about what your friends can go through. I'm Chesney reporting for ENN. Thanks Eddie for giving us more details on what diabetes is and how it can affect our bodies. Remember me Eagles that GJ Mountain Biking Club meets every Friday in room 2222 in Mr. Davis's room. Now let's go over to Desire for giving us a commercial on eating healthy. Ooh, yeah. Hmm? Hello? Hey, I'm running by McDonald's. You want anything? McDonald's? You can't eat that junk. It's not good for you. You gotta eat healthy. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. Eat healthy. What's with the unnecessary singing, man? Huh? Oh, I don't know. It sort of just happened. Anywho. Make sure to watch what you eat. Your body needs various things to survive and stay strong, like proteins, vitamin D, and iron, just to name a few. And the best part, many foods carry these things. So don't worry, just eat healthy. Eating healthy plays a vital role and keep your muscles strong and allow you to exercise more efficiently. Remember me Eagles that AT meets every Tuesdays in room 2223 and Mr. Wednesday's room. Now let's go over to Natalie for giving us a community spotlight on Kelly Rack. According to the World Health Organization, things like exercise can decrease your symptoms and anxiety and stress. Thanks to the Kelly Rack Center here, they make that possible. So let's go inside to check out what they're all about. So the Kelly Rec Center is a community center um, for anyone in the community and outside residents. Um, you don't have to be necessarily in the city of Lakeland. We cater to everyone who is just looking for a place to come and you know get some recreational activity. We offer pickleball, we offer fitness classes, we offer just weight room equipment if you just want to come and work out. Um, we offer tennis outdoors. So we offer a lot of activities for recreational use, but we also offer um, guitar lessons and other activities that just get people in the community involved in you know, exercising, but also just camaraderie and having people you know, interact with others in the community. What makes Kelly Rec unique is, a big part is the fact that we have a different payment system. So places like Planet Fitness and Just Move have a payment system where you have to pay yearly and um, often you have to sign a contract. Ours is more just you can come in, sign up, and then just pay as you go. Our activities don't require any kind of commitment, whether it's contractual or you know we have to you know have your card on file. Anyone at any time can just come and try things out. 
So we definitely have a more inviting and open environment when it comes to getting new people in the door. And I think that's what draws a lot of people to is because we do feel a lot more intimate in the sense of what we offer and the community here, a lot of people know each other by name. It's definitely a much more social area compared to other gyms and recreational facilities that often people come in, um, you know, they just kind of do their own workout and leave where people come here for the actual social and community aspect of it. Thank you to Taylor Dorman for speaking with us here at ENN. The World Health Organization also states that exercise can benefit your body, being, and mind. Well, Eagles, that's all I have for you today. I'm Natalie, reporting for ENN. Thank you, Natalie, for giving us that spotlight on Kelly Rick and how it can help benefit our communities in many different ways. Well, this comes to the end of our show, Eagles. Rise and shine to sun down. I'm Teron, signing off of ENN.